Okay, so we're here at the Society National Conference with Jill Halstead, um, who qualified in 2003 from Huddersfield University. Um, Jill, can you just tell us why you first went into podiatry? Um, I've met a few podiatrists just by chance, and I listened to kind of their skills and what they did with patients, and I was always wanting to work with people, and also kind of learn about how the body functions and moves, and podiatry is really strong in that, and I felt that, you know, the foot was really key to how you move and how you, you know, get around the, your normal day-to-day -day life, and I felt that, you know, that's something I could go and learn more about. Fantastic. Um, so, kind of, what have you done? What key things have you done? It's been a while since 2003. What have you been doing with your time since then? Um, from graduating, I went into, uh, voluntarily, into an internship programme. That means that you go and work with a, a lot of professional researchers, which just happened to be, you know, leading podiatrists at the time. So I worked six months with them, which was a fast, fantastic opportunity. And I went to work in the NHS um, for five years, which was great because it really helps you consolidate all your clinical experience. You get to really see lots of different things, broaden your horizons. And in that time, I developed a rheumatology service. So really bringing um, people with foot problems uh, to the forefront in podiatry and integrating a multidisciplinary team. Um, during that time, my interest in research still um, was a forefront of my mind and I wanted to go into that much more. So um, after the five years, I decided to go put a grant in for a PhD and with Tony Redmond, I won the grant and I'm now doing a PhD full time that's fully funded by Arthritis Research UK. This was, I think, the second um, podiatrist in the country to get those studentships. So it was really fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. What an amazing path you've had uh, from 2003 in Huddersfield. Uh, definitely. Um, so along that journey then, what have been the worst bits for you? What have been the sort of downsides to being a podiatrist on uh, that journey? I think you've got to, I'm an enthusiastic podiatrist and I think um, probably the downside is maybe not have, come across people maybe don't have the same passion as you, but I think you always get that in jobs and I've come to realise that. And I think, you know, if you want to do more, you've maybe got to create those opportunities for yourself. It's important to surround yourself by people who are like-minded or positive, or good mentors that can help develop you as a person, because your career is a big, long journey, and you need lots of people to support you. So I think although I would have liked to have maybe took opportunities earlier, I think the, the progression I did in hindsight was a good thing, so. Okay, and what have, what have been the best bits? What are the bits that really fire you up and get you excited about being a podiatrist? Now. Um, now. Well, I've just come back from Seattle, which is the International Foot and Ankle Biomechanics Conference. Fantastic. And um, so I got to travel to America and present to an audience of foot and ankle enthusiasts, which was brilliant and really, you know, give them data on what we can do clinically, what, what, what are we, how are we helping patients, how we, you know, how do we influence their care and really that's why my PhD is very clinically driven, so you can, you know, help them in the long run and our patients love being in the study, so that aspect and you know I get to work with patients day to day as part of my research and it's great. Okay, what would you now say to people who are maybe thinking about podiatry? I know you kind of came into podiatry as a mature student. Um, if somebody was in a similar boat to you, what would you say now to them if they were thinking about making that jump? Um, I would say it's a, you know, it's a professional career. Go on, expose yourself to podiatrists and all different ranges of ones you know, ask to talk to people and make sure it's something you want to do and be really thinking about that, you know, if care's at the forefront of your mind, you feel you want to make a difference to patients' lives and if you've got that ethic to stay with you, I think you know, you can contribute to the profession and your enthusiasm won't wane because you always get that feedback from patients day to day that you're really helping them. So I think expose yourself and, you know, go for it really. So you glad you made the jump? Yes, definitely. All that time ago? Definitely. Yeah, brilliant. Well, thanks very much for your time and sharing your, uh, your passion for podiatry. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you.